Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Capricorn January 23, 2023. With the sun's move into your solar house today, you're entering a period of the year when you benefit from more downtime, personal space, and time for reflection. It's a preparatory period before the sun enters your sign next month, when a new cycle begins. However, it's also an important cycle of its own. It's a time for extra attention to mental, emotional, and spiritual health. You may be taking more time away from the demanding elements of your life, and you're more aware of the psychic undercurrents around you during this period. During this cycle that lasts until February 18th, there can be attention to the past and tying up projects that have run their due course. Ideally, you'll come to some important conclusions and wrap up things that have fallen by the wayside, serving to free up your mind. You may have difficulty seeing yourself as others see you temporarily, and decisions may require more time than usual. If this is the case, they can probably wait. Today, watch for misplaced commentary for best results. The sun is always galloping through the sky like a chariot set on fire. Today, he will turn a corner to dance onward into the zodiac sign of the water bearer. As Aquarius season arrives, you're set to notice a faster pace of life, as people are more curious about each other and the world in which they live. As you venture into new horizons, be sure to check in with yourself and reflect on where you've been. Connecting with people from the past or relationships that are karmic in nature may also occur in the month ahead. Know where you stand and where you soon would like to go. Own your inner weirdo. Expect to be a little introverted as the sun enters Aquarius today. Aquarius season will be a little more subliminal for you, but it can still be professionally impactful. Your hidden talents and weaknesses will surface during this astrological period, which can help you become more confident in your professional capabilities. You will need to work through any self-imposed hindrances, like your insecurities or fears. Doing so can help you own your innovation, ingenuity, and authenticity. By the end of Aquarius season, you will be more confident with your unique assets. Thanks to the moon's departure from your career sector yesterday your professional instincts are sharp and you are emotionally and intuitively engaged as an alignment between Jupiter and Juno on the income front titans. Jupiter is the planet of luck and expansion and Juno is the queen of commitment and as they join forces this is giving you the resolve and confidence to fight for what you deserve. Not every day is meant to be earth-shattering. You may find yourself wanting some fizzy feeling that just isn't there right now. Breathe deeply, relax and consider the ebb and flow of it all. Do something good for your health in preparation for the exciting times to come. Drink water, plan your meals ahead of time, get out there or do a little exercise. Don't despair the good times are just around the corner. If you can't remember the last time you and your partner went out for some special romantic time together then it's been too long. Today it is the perfect essence to bring expression of love into your routine. This is especially important if you have children. Keeping the romance alive in your relationship will keep the family unit strong and unified. Make some plans and surprise your mate. Maybe get a sitter and head out for a leisurely candle at dinner. The first full day of the month-long wind-down of your old solar year brings a chance to pause, but from the start there is a sense that this has a lot more significance this year. While this is the point in each year when you reach the final chapter in your current solar year, with Saturn now in his final two months here and returning due to return to Pisces to begin a new three-decade-long Saturn cycle during your birthday month, you are preparing for more than just a new solar year. The first full day of the month-long wind-down of your old solar year has added to a sense of nostalgia that Venus, the planet of love has been generating for weeks, but in a way that could cramp her style. Venus is taking your heart on a nostalgic trip down love's memory lane that is best experienced wearing your rose-colored glasses, while in order to close down your old solar year the sun needs you to have your eyes open and head out of the sand. The key is seeing the two as separate. Our eyes in the sky. Unexplained tensions abound, 
so choose your words with care and try to avoid others if you can. Otherwise, you probably say things you later regret and risk alienating friends and acquaintances. Make sure to practice self-restraint. Take a quiet moment and organize your leisure time carefully. By so doing, you avoid taking on too much. Today's Aquarius new moon urges us to begin our charitable efforts in the new year. This is a time when we want to give back to the local and global communities. It's an ideal time to focus on caring for others, particularly anyone who needs our help in overcoming obstacles. Stand up for the citizens of the world. Remember that you don't always have to do everything by the book. Sometimes the best ideas are born out of sheer bravery and fearlessness toward the unknown. Today is your day to color outside of the lines. Doing so will surely lead to success. Realize that you are an important part of a greater team. Your contribution is significant, even if you don't receive individual recognition for the job you do. Know in your heart that your work is important and that the show cannot go on without you. The astral alignment is bringing out the best in your relationship, so make the most of it. This would be the perfect time to arrange an outing, or to create a romantic atmosphere and cook a wonderful meal to celebrate all the things you have come to love and admire about each other. You have shared some wonderful moments together, this is a chance to reminisce. Just after midnight, the Aquarius moon sextiles Neptune in Pisces, making us extra sensitive. As many of us will be asleep at this hour, we should expect our dreams to be prophetic. Pay attention to signs and signals from guides or your higher mind. If we are awake, the solid, dependable Capricorn moon can help us to translate our imaginative concepts into physical form through writing, speaking, or fabricating. Make use of your current decisive mood and get going on new financial projects it could be worthwhile. It might be something you wanted for a long time, a spontaneous purchase or a long-term investment. You have a winning touch, particularly as you can trust bank advisors and friends more than usual. Other people recognize that you have worked hard for your money and will handle it with care. After sunup, the Aquarius moon aligns with Pluto, provoking intense emotions. We believe that others are trying to take advantage of us, which may or may not be true. Paranoia can be one manifestation of this aspect. Obsession can be another. We might attempt to control another's behaviors or actions so they will not have a chance to control ours. The moon begins its void of course following this aspect's perfection. Take this opportunity to create some distance from situations or personalities that are triggering your anxiety. Use this time instead for reflection and an honest assessment of your own inner workings. You feel drawn to beautiful and luxurious things that are expensive. It could be that the most beautiful things in life are often those that are the simplest, and mostly come without an expensive price tag at all. Keep your eyes peeled for these treasures the wonders of the world you're able to sense them and recognize their true worth more clearly than ever.